Hey kobolds, welcome to a new episode of Chef Bites. We have something special planned today. Zucchini pancakes. See, my cousin gave me a monster sized zucchini the last time I visited her, so we're just gonna do a fun recipe with it today. Zucchini pancakes made a great accompaniment to any meal or even serve as a meal by itself. If you're in the mood for a savory pancake that also takes advantage of fresh summer vegetables, then this is the recipe for you. Let's get cooking. First, we need to cut up and clean this massive zucchini that I got from my cousin. I wasn't joking, this thing is huge. Also, give your veg a throw once over, trim off any blemishes or bruises, kind of like this guy right here. He's gotta go. It's so big that despite the recipe needing just three quarters of a pound of shredded zucchini, it was still only like half of this monster. It's crazy. <laughs> what is she? No, seriously, what's my cousin feeding these things? My God. We need to cut everything down into uniform sizes so we can start shredding all of this zucchini. It's easier if you, if you own a kitchen scale so you can just pop a container or a bowl on it, zero it out and just weigh as you shred. Also, as you can see, if you've got a food processor with a shredding disc, this part of the prep is capital E easy. Next, we need to assemble the batter. Grab your eggs, your ginger, your seasoning, and all of your dry goods and start whisking. And then realize you need one more egg because the batter is just way too dry right now. That was my mistake and I made it, so you don't have to. Could I have just edited this entire part out? Maybe. Was I way too lazy to do so? More than likely. I'm moving on. <laughs> now, hold in your shredded zucchini and we're ready to start frying. Preheat your oven to about 300 degrees and to keep your pancakes warm in a big sheet tray. Then in a large pan or skillet, or in my case, my trusty cast iron pan, Heat to medium high with some cooking oil and some butter and using a pair of tablespoons, scoop out your pancake batter into the pan and fry until the batter sets and is golden brown. Your first couple might be a tiny bit overcooked, but just don't worry about it. You'll get the rhythm as you go along. Fry these in batches and reload your fats as needed in the pan and then keep your cooked pancakes in the oven, as mentioned earlier, so they stay warm. With the ratios on this recipe, you should get anywhere between 10 and possibly 12 pancakes, depending on the size of your scoops. I managed to wrangle out 11 this time around. This recipe has instantly become a favorite of mine. The pancakes are delicious, filling, savory, with just a little bit of a, the spicy kick from the red pepper flake. I ended up eating these for dinner with some leftover meatballs I just so happened to have in the fridge with a little hit of spicy garlic sauce on the side because, listen, I like spicy food, okay? <laughs> Honestly, it was the perfect dinner. It was very good. Enjoy. Happy cooking. Like, comment, and subscribe for more. And by the way, thank you again for 1,000 subs here on YouTube. I really do appreciate it, and I could not have gotten here without you. I'll see you on the next one.